Sophie Karen Nicholas, and along with my colleague Cathy Snelling from the University of Adelaide, we teach human biology to our first year oral health students. As I progressed through my studies and when I was an undergraduate student, my area that I excelled in was human biology. After about 20 years of teaching in this area, the human body never ceases to amaze me. It is designed so intricately and every year I learn new things along with the students. When I first started teaching in the area of oral health and dentistry, um, my aim was to try and get into human biology because I just remember as a student, it was the lecture that I never missed. Every time I went there, I learned something that used to just blow me away. In our classes, learning is not considered directed by the teachers. We actually share the learning and it's very much student directed and I really enjoy watching the creativity that students actually display when they're learning new concepts. We teach students in a diverse range of methods because we realise and recognise that every student has individual needs and learns in different ways. So we combine a lot of our classes with online learning. We have what we call interactive learning modules where we narrate a particular area that students can go off and study the key concepts, really look at the area of human biology and start to explore it together with one another. We're trying to make sure they understand that what they're doing in human biology really counts, that human biology is everywhere. It's what I often tell them. You look around and it's something that we shouldn't want to get away from because it really defines what we are and it defines who we are and in the role of the oral health course, it defines their, their graduate practice. So for us, we feel it's a, a really important part of their journey. As well as that, we like to then take students into the clinic where they can really explore human biology as it relates to their profession of oral health. Before we get started, CJ, I just would like to go through a series of medical history questions um, just to make sure that you don't have uh, any medical problems or taking any medications that might affect your teeth or mouth in any way. It also relates to their own personal growth. So students start to understand what happens to their body when they're exercising or what happens to the body when they're sick. I guess that working with someone like Sophie, it's great because we bounce off each other. We're similar enough, but we're different enough to be able to work together really well. And I guess our partnership in human biology has made me rethink the way that I've taught some of the areas. And for example, I remember once Sophie coming in with a breathless group of students, all flushed, and I'm thinking, where have they been? And she'd been outside, they'd been doing the respiratory system. And she said to me, well, where else would you want to do it but running around the yard, understanding what respiration actually is, what oxygen debt really is. And I thought, yeah, it's bringing it to life in a very um, in-your-face kind of way. And so Sophie has really, um, I suppose, demonstrated lots of things that I've taken on board. And I think it's been mutual. So we've been able to help each other develop our styles. Another aspect of my teaching that I've really enjoyed is being able to share our experiences with other colleagues, not only within our university, but across universities in Australia and international forums as well. We've presented widely and we not only learn from our students, but of course we learn from other colleagues and we always make sure that every year we do things differently. So students are, are prepared for surprises.